Hi there friends. So in this uh, lesson, I'm going to show you how you can assign roles to a newly created user for implementing Oracle Fusion SAS applications. So let's go into Fusion environment. So if you recall in the last video, we have ended up in creating this particular user, which is having a username of Rohan Kumar. Okay, so in order to add the roles, I'm going to click on edit and hit the button add role. Here, I'm going to first add a role called as IT security manager. So I'm going to click on this one and then here I'm going to choose this and hit add role membership. So as soon as I do that, the role will be added as you could see in the background, it's visible. Likewise, I'm going to add another role application. Implementation. Consultant. Okay. So I'm going to choose this one. And uh, don't forget to click on the role before you hit the add role membership button. Okay, so this role is also added. I'm going to add another role called as employee. So I'm going to choose this one and then click on that and hit the add role membership. And let's say if there is any other role that we have created, So if you recall in the last video, we have also created a HR specialist role and that we named it as orange HR specialist role. So I'm going to add this role as well to this particular implementation user. Okay. And hit add role membership and then hit the done button. Okay. And once you're done, then make sure you're not forgetting anything and if everything is okay if you have added all the necessary roles then hit save and close button so with that this role has been added to this user rohan kumar and don't forget to hit the done button okay so now this user is saved so what i'm going to do is i'm going to re-query back and as you could see all the roles that we have added are over here so what i'm doing it is you know as a good practice while you are uh, you are working towards your implementation it's always a good idea to document what you are doing so that you don't forget what's going on so for me i am maintaining a simple excel file however you can maintain a separate functional uh, document which is given by oracle and that in oracle tcm methodology you call it as a cwb or as a full form of cwb it stands for config workbook it's an excel based uh, workbook which is uh, usually provided by oracle and uh, that you sort of fill in as you go on in your setup but in my case rather than doing all that since it's sort of a demo environment i have just maintained a simple excel file and uh, which is uh, i'm going to show you which is over here so the first thing that we have done as a part of step number one was to create a hr role and you see how I am maintaining it. I am writing the navigation so that I don't forget and the role that I have created and the security criteria I have given so that, you know, next time when I come, I know uh, in the in the Excel file itself, which is almost similar to config workbook or given by Oracle, that what all I have done so far. Likewise, I am maintaining a uh, another Excel sheet for the users that I am creating as a part of implementation. So. The username I have given was Rohan Kumar at, or it was just Rohan Kumar, right? And then email address is Rohan at oracle.com. And role that I have given was IT security manager, then application implementation consultant right and then employee and then this role that we just created in, in the past 
so i'm going to copy the role and paste it over here okay and i'm going to format it as required okay something like this so that the readability is there okay it's up to you how you want to document it but i just uh, work in a methodical way so that uh, i just remember what i have done and you know what sometimes uh, a lot of confusion comes while you are uh, setting up things you end up in forgetting it so it's a good idea to go in a structured approach right so that is exactly what i am doing it so as you could see here i will just word wrap it and uh, align it and this looks good right and this is exactly what i'm going to do as we go along so these are the roles i have added okay and uh, you can see right here from the front end as well so if you add any other roles in in as you go along just make sure you document that um, and it's always a good idea however you have a standard functionality in the application itself that you can query a user and the associated roles will come up and you can export all those associated roles in an excel file but that's just the information about the roles not the other setups that you have been doing so the excel file that i'm maintaining will contain all the setups uh, or the basic setups that are required uh, while you're setting up your enterprise structure so it's always a good idea to document them and if you want uh, this excel file that i'm maintaining it i will uh, later provide a link in the description of this video and uh, you can download that excel file from there uh, freely so uh, just in case you know if you want uh, i'm happy to share the knowledge with you guys thanks for watching